really? Well, welcome back to Strange Horticulture. I'm here today. We're gonna be doing some things. Oh, kitty. Okay. Let's see here. So we got a new card. So we have this card and we have this card. She lives alone in the castle to the northwest of the abbey. Okay, let me move this out of the way. I need that card. Bring that back. She buried her husband three miles to the east where the Everheart grows. So she lives alone in the castle to the north west of the abbey so i'm gonna assume there is um so here's a castle that lives northwest uh because here's an abbey i don't know if there's any other abbeys on here um i don't see any i'm gonna assume it's this one and she buried her husband three miles to the east so one two three i'm gonna assume it's here let's find out I got it. All right. A dead tree is its barked cracked and blackened by fire stands alone on the hillside. Off to one side, a patch of flowers grows on a low mound. Yeah. So welcome back to Strange uh, Horticulture. We're going to be doing this. I don't know how many episodes this is going to be. I don't know how long this game is, actually. I don't still don't know about that one. I need to maybe explore a little bit more on that. We have all sorts of plants and all sorts of things to do. Sorry, cat. I must thank you. Last night, for the first time in weeks, my mind was calmed. I am no longer tormented by visions of the woman in the jade mask and that terrible monster. Now I'm wondering if you have some worry less to keep my over-anxious thoughts at bay. Okay, let's see. Worry less. Worry less is an aptly named plant. Inhaling the smell of the flowers is said to ease symptoms of anxiety. So that's okay. Let's move you out of here. I don't think we've found this plant before uh let's see they smell wonderful so that's might be it um what is this plant it has a sweet scent hmm none of these look so that's candlewood so that's not gonna be it none of these look right it's gonna be one of these two. So this one smells wonderful. I think it might be this one because there's like lines on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think it's this one. I got it right, hooray. And I got a book entry for that. The hop heart, okay. So let's label this plant as the worry. There is an option to mark all these plants uh, automatically, which <laughs> might not actually be a bad idea. All right. Uh, let's see. I want to see if I can't find another location that looks kind of blank that we might be able to go to that has, like, something on, like, the corner of it. Uh, let's see. I actually wonder if it's the Abbey, because this is kind of the same thing. Uh, let's see. A small window opens within from... I'm sorry, a small window opens within the much larger oak door. From the darkness within, a voice proclaims only a friend may enter. Did we not have something that could be considered friendly? That's Lovelock. Hang on, it's one of the ones that we... Is it Fox Button? That's a sleeping draught. Oh, wait, no, this one... Friendship, Fox Button. Hang on, let's see here. Um... I don't know if this is going to work. Hey, I got in. All right. The hatch snaps shut and the oak door swings inward slowly without a sound. I'm ushered in by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Long Meg and leads me through the abbey to a small library filled with books, scrolls and books. Without a word, he pauses for a moment surveying before selecting a scroll and handing it to me. Regarding Long Meg, there is a stone circle north of Undermare. According to local legends, some hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years ago, a witch known as Long Meg lived nearby along with her daughters. They were wild, godless people who practiced evil magic until one night they went too far and Meg and her daughters returned to stone. The tall stone that stands apart from the main circle is called Long Meg by the locals. I don't know if that helps me, to be completely honest. Sorry, cat. So cute. I met a strange man on the road to Sudberg not two days ago. Stranger still, he asked after you. He said he had something for you. Don't ask me what. So I told him where to find you, but he looked stricken when I mentioned Undermare. 
said he doesn't come near towns at all if he can help it. He was headed west, at least I think he was. He said he was looking for the Winster Spring. I'll write this down for you. Okay, so she wants the common truce. This is something that she told us that she wanted last time when she was here. And here we go. Man wanted to meet you headed west from Sedberg, possibly near to the source of the River Winster. Okay, hang on. So Sedberg, where is that at? I, quick, somebody pointed out to me. You guys are probably quicker at finding things on this map. There we go. West, so going that way, all right. Possibly near to the source of the water, River Winster, let's see, Kent Winster. So here? Let's see. There are more important things I could be doing back at the shop. Okay, so that wasn't quite right, but I think it's, uh, we just have to try maybe one more time over there. Sorry, cat. I don't like interrupting your sneezing. I am not long for this world, and I have decided that I want to be buried in a grave decorated with the rare and beautiful kabaya, like the drawer huntsmen with their drenthium covered tombs. Okay, so this dude's dying. <laughs> Rest in peace, dude. Um, a rare plant that is believed to help the dead find peace in the afterlife. Uh, they always contain six petals. Finding a seven petal flower is considered good luck. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, that looks about right, doesn't it? Okay, so that's good. We get another plant. Eye bright. Creepy. Okay, let's mark this one off. C-A-B-A-L-L-I-A. -L -L okay. Now, I think one of the things we could do if we really wanted to get the will to explore, I think we can just water these guys. Ah, okay. So if we water them, eventually we get um, points. So if we do that one more time, we probably have enough to actually try that again. Let's see here. So close to it, uh, maybe... I don't know if it's going to be here or here. Let's try here. Okay, so I chose poorly. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe... Um, so it's somewhere in that area. Okay, let's try again. Ah! Woman in the Jade Mask! Your reputation is growing, horticulturist. I hear you are the person to come to for plants that are difficult to acquire. My head feels like it is being torn in two lately. I am looking for some hop heart. Okay, that is something that we do have apparently. So let's see. Hop heart. Inhaling smoke from burning the dry leaves of this plant can provide pain relief. Firm leaves grow up to the stems leading to blue flowers. Okay, so when it comes to blue flowers, we have a couple options here. Um, let's see. Firm leaves. Do these guys have firm leaves? Dark blue flowers. Do these guys have firm leaves? They, these guys have that, some firm leaves. These, that one hurts. Don't touch that one. I think it's this one. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Hooray. Okay, so we got something else. So that's cool. Let's see. Hop heart. Okay, let's actually see if we can't maybe water some more of these plants and get some more will to explore. Oh, whoops, I want to water these. We just need one more, I think, and then we can um, try that again. Let's see. Like I said, the, the note says near to the source. So we tried here and here, uh, maybe here. Okay, no, apparently, apparently I'm not pulling in the right area. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, try somebody else. Sorry. You're so cute and small. Reuben Ward has called on my unique expertise to aid in his investigation at the Swinside Stone Circle. Unique expertise. Ha! He knows how to flatter an old woman when he wants something. I thought about telling him to suck an egg. Gave it a good long thought, actually, but my curiosity has got the better of me. He must be desperate if he is coming to me, and I bet they've, the bet they found something juicy down there. Signs of ritual sacrifice, maybe. I could do with some witch fug to take with me. And he always comes in useful. Alright, so witch 
Fig? Which fig? Which fig? It's a fig. <laughs> a plant that is said to have many uses, including easing the symptoms of infection. Um, it is well liked by butterflies. It has similar leaves to the fever kiss plant. What is a fever kiss? Do I have a fever kiss? I do. Fever kiss. Okay, so we've got... So this one looks like we've got two plants with berries on them. This one includes red berries. I'm going to suspect this one is fever kiss. I'm just going to mark it. And then I'm going to assume this is the one that we're actually looking for. The witch fig. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, mark this one as found. It is the witch fig with two G's for some bizarre reason. Okay, let's try this one. Actually, maybe we should go to the circle. Um, that also might be something we want to do. I'd really like to do this one. Headed west to the source of the river. I assume he's coming this way. So if it's not here or here, maybe Meat Hop? I don't know. I kind of want to test all of these. Let's, let's go to Meat Hop. On the outskirts of Meat Hop Village, I pass a large, attractive villa which would not look out of place in the Swiss Alps. A number of people are lying in basket chairs on the veranda. They are well dressed but very pale. One lady has a painful, painful sounding cough. I pass a discreet mental sign. Westmoreland Sanatorium, of course. These are invalids receiving therapeutic treatment for their tuberculosis. Well, that isn't quite what I wanted. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's try again. I never see anybody in your shop. It's a daily surprise to me that you're still in business. Believe me, I wouldn't be in here if I didn't have to be, especially with that damn cat still here. I need some bishop's parasol for a work-related matter. All right. Let's see here. I want to move this out of the way. Can you go over here? Get out of my <laughs> get out of my zone. All right. So this looks like a mushroom found in deep, dark, damp places, feeding on any light that gets close to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping its surroundings in darkness. The gills on the underside of this mushroom seep a milky fluid. Okay. So we need a milky fluid. Sounds kinky. Uh, can I have you move out of the way? Thanks. Uh, you... It's got spores. So this one's got a viscous white fluid. I think that's the only mushroom... Other mushroom that I have. Okay, so end of day. Let me go ahead and mark this as the bish... Bisha... <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend to know how to spell parasol. Okay, so there's that. Very nice. Let's move some of these other plants over here so that I can keep track of them. I think I do want to try and go out one more time, though. I want to go to... Instead of going down here. So we've tried a lot of things over here. But I want to try the stone circle first. Um, oh, we've already been here, so it looks like... Are those new? I'm gonna have to look up and see if those are new. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if we can try and go out one more time. If we go ahead and water enough. And I'm bringing y'all with me. I don't know if we can get more from the same plant or not. Okay, survey says no on that. So it looks like you can only water each plant once to get that boost. Is that what I'm reading out of that? I don't know. I'm not. Okay, one more should do it. Okay, let's go ahead. I wanna try, um, let's see. So I tried here, 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 and here. Um, maybe here? Okay, so it looks like that is a no-go. Let's end the day. We'll, uh, we'll figure this out, I hope. The old man of 
Coniston looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current flowing gently southwards to the fork. Not long after the girl left home, her father wept, but he was so caught up in his own grief that he let her go and did not look for her. So, so far, found a book. Book was weird, needed to be hidden, mom died, dad's being not great. That unfortunately checks out. Uh, <laughs> dude's grieving. Hi, kitty! Ooh, it's thundering outside. All right, so let's see if we can't find... So let's see here. Old Man of Coniston. Is that a place on the map? Let's see, there's an old man. I think that might be it. He looks across the lake with blind eyes. And his mind wanders with the current to the fork. Okay, so this is the lake. Yeah, so there is Coniston water. So I'm assuming he looks out this way and it wanders with the current flowing south to the fork. Here is the fork. I think this is where we need to go. The heavens open up as I reach the fork. I take a moment to pause and listen to the sound of water on water. I'm soaked through, but my spirits are high as I return home. I am not empty handed. Two new plants today. Sweet. Wait a minute. This plant moved. <laughs> it wandered. <laughs> Hot and all. Okay, so we got some new stuff. Now we're still looking for Brimlock here, which has small yellow flowers and its leaves are waxy and tough. Um, I'm still not seeing a lot of small yellow flowers. That's not it. Is there anything over here? No. Actually, let's move things over slightly. It's bothering me how busy it's getting onto this side of the everything. I don't like busy. Plants should not be busy. They should be, well, actually plants should be busy. Plants have things to do too, you know. But I don't like the fact that I can't see all of the ones. Okay, there we go. That's better. Uh, let's go ahead and do one of these to start with. The insects make the salt marshes uninhabitable. People stay away and not much grows there, but I know where to find an unusual plant. I have decided to draw you a map in case, I have drawn, sorry, I've drawn you a map in case you decide it's worth your time. All right, so we get a note here and it looks like we're going out. <laughs> we found the one place. We still need to look. We've hit here, 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 and here. I'm thinking maybe we'll follow the river. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's see, uh, water here. Kinda looks like this, maybe? Yeah, that kinda checks out. And it's here, so let's see. I'm thinking maybe... So this looks like this. This looks like this. I'm thinking maybe here? I don't think it's going to be any one of these. I think it's going to be this one. Let's find out. The air is thick and fly with flying, biting insects, an unbearable plague. I fight against it for mere moments before I'm overwhelmed. If only I had some blue winter to keep them at bay. All right, do we have winter boar, also known as blue aloe? The rubbery leaves make for an effective insect repellent. Okay, so let's see. Do we have this plant, though? Um, let's see, rubbery leaves? Smells like rhubarb. Hmm, I don't think we do. We know what we need. You know what? I bet this is the one that we're gonna find here. We don't, I don't think we have Brimlock though. It's waxy leaves. See, this is the only one that we have that's got the smooth waxy leaves. So I don't think we can do this one quite yet. Oh, kitty. Okay, um, so this one's a, on a pause for right now. Also, there's this. I'm still not sure what to do with this. <laughs> uh, what else do we need? Um, let's see, so 
Oh, and Long Meg. Oh, wait, that one stands aside. Hang on a second here. Open this up. There's a stone that's separate. Hang on. Let's say there's a stone that's separate that stands to the side. Okay, we'll have to re-explore that. Let's go ahead and do another one of these. Thank you for your help and your discretion earlier. The Sisterhood is grateful, but the news that the Arda was poisoned with Gilded Dendra has everyone worried. The temporary acting Arda is panicking. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but one of the sisters has gone missing, a runaway called Thea that took in that we took in a few years ago. We were trying to find her, and Sister Charlotte remembered that the Jacobsworth plant is said to help locate people. Alright, so let's see if we can help somebody locate somebody. People tend to be drawn to the unusual flowers, but its leaves have the most interesting properties. They said that they will point the way towards any person you wish to locate. Okay, so let's see here. Unusual flowers. Ah, I bet it's this one. Yeah, because they move. So, uh, let's go ahead and mark that one as Jake... Wait, Jacob's what? Jacob's worth. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's think about this for a minute. Um, apparently there is one that stands separately. I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's see. What is this? I've yet to figure out what this is for. <laughs> it is a thing. So, did we not- I thought we found this. I think we did. Uh, let's see. Headed west. Possibly nearer to the source. I don't know if we should continue going this way. Because the source is here. I don't know if he's either talking about one of these. I'm just not entirely certain. This has still got me questioning things too. Because it looks like we should be able to find not I just don't know how to figure those ones out. Um, okay, well let's hit uh Whitbarrow here. From the limestone okay, so there's no person here. From the limestone crags of Whitbarrow Hill, I enjoy an expansive view of the surrounding countryside. I read that Whitbarrow's unique rock strata may have been formed thousands or even millions of years ago when the land was covered in ice. Hmm. Okay, well anyway, let's go ahead and pop those back in there and um find a new person. I read about a wonderful sounding ornamental plant, but my book didn't say what it was called or where to find it. It has curled leaves and a dark blue flower. Curled leaves. Okay, so let's see. We have a couple with curled leaves. Does this one count as curled leaves? Don't touch that. This one has curled leaves. I think she's talking about the Lady of Summer. Is this one... Um, actually on that paint. Yes, it is an ornamental plant. Okay. So Lady of Summer is probably what you're looking for. Good job. Wait, was that it on that one? Alright. We've had our eye on you for some time now. Join us. Praise the Dendru. I represent a group called the Seeds of Redemption. Your expertise would be very useful to us and we have much to offer in return. Let us know. We can count on you by leaving a single St. John's poppy flower outside the Sagill Church before Friday. Do not make the mistake of ignoring us. Alright, so it looks like that's going to be a thing that we need to do. Um, hmm. A little nerve-wracking. I'm very confused about this one. I wonder, okay, so I was counting this as the source, but if maybe the water is flowing south. Let's go here. Ah, the hermit, okay, I was going the wrong direction. Nice, the hermit's camp is easy to find, nestled between two boulders above the spring. The cooled remains of a fire ringed by stones is the only immediate sign that anyone was here. I call out, but there is no reply. The hermit is not here. A more thorough search of the campsite yields something interesting. Tucked off to one side, I discover some broken pieces of wood arranged on the floor. 
down to right three. Okay, so we're here. So one, two, one, two, three. So right here. All right. So we're going to continue. So down to one, two, three. The camp at Winster Spring has led me to another camp of sorts where I'm greeted by an eccentric man. Oh, yes, yes. Ho, 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 the man says. You must take this. Take it, take it. At his insistence, I receive the looking glass that he thrusts into my hands. He places an envelope delicately on top. Ho, ho. It is no use to me anymore. Ho, ho. No use. Don't forget the red. The red, the red, the red, the red. Ho, ho. Abony. I am sure he is quite mad. Okay, so we get this. What the hell is this? not sure what this is. It is said that the red ebony plant has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or secret. I have perfected a device designed to, to use ex extract from the plant in, in concert with a viewing window in order to permit the user to see magics otherwise invisible to the negative, negative eye. I don't think we know anything about red any okay curious we're just gonna put that away for now this doesn't have a check mark on it huh I don't know about that pet the cat click the button I have returned from Swinside I must admit I was hoping for more to go on, but there were certainly signs of a ritual having been performed at the stone circle. And the poor victim, well, the less said about him, the better. Reuben had it right, though. Grizzly. I had the beginnings of a theory, but I'd like to run some tests on a sample of Gilded Dendra. Did we already, um... We haven't. So, do not drink the sap of this plant. Uh, let's see here. We do have some, apparently. Is this the one? Potent that touching the plants can be painful. Um, let's see. It's this one, right? Because this one, this is the one that hurts. Okay, let's go ahead and label that one. Hmm. I'm curious. I thought I had this one done, but it doesn't look like I do. Alright, well this one... I guess we should probably do this. Because I'm very curious. Let's see. Sad Gill Church. <coughs> Okay, so here's Sadgill, so let's go ahead and go there. The church isn't hard to find in this small hamlet of Sadgill. This must be the place. All right. Well, let's go ahead and agree, I guess, and we'll see. I think there are multiple endings to this, by the way, um, but we'll, we'll find out. My aunt died two weeks ago, and I inherited her house. I've been sifting through her possessions, and last night I found something unusual. In a forgotten corner of the attic, I found a coffin. More unusual still, it was bound by strong vines, so strong that I cannot cut through them. I immediately thought of your shop. You know about plants, right? Let's see here. So, Royal... Gentia. Alright, so, um, let's see. The pink flowers. This definitely looks like this. Like, I don't even have to really... This is the only thing that we have that really looks like... Looks like that. Uh, let's see. Pink flowers, yeah. Okay, looks like we have ended today. Let me go ahead and do this. Real gentia. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna move things around slightly. So all of these have been identified. And now we just have these. Where's my watering can? I want a water can. I want a water plant. To see if we can't get the world to explore a little bit more. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's see. 
Um, where do we want to go here? So we do have... We don't have the plant for that. Hmm. Maybe we can go somewhere near here. Because it stands apart. I want to kind of see... No, nothing there. Okay, so never mind. Uh, let's just go ahead and end the day here. Five miles south of the tallest... Of the tallest but one, it grows in peace in the midday sun. Before she left, she returned to her hiding place and carefully retrieved the book, her excitement building as she did. She couldn't articulate what was so alluring to her about the book, but by now it had become an obsession. Okay, so open this. Hi, buddy! So cute! Okay, let's see. Five miles south of the tallest, but one. The tallest, huh? So, kind of looking at the numbers here, this is the tallest. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure if that's what that but one, because I feel like that but one. <laughs> Unless they're talking about, let's see, this is nine, this one's 899. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Let's try one, two, three, four, five and see what happens. Okay, nothing there, so that must, that was not correct. We'll try that one again uh, later, I guess. I was able to strip away the swift snares vines and lift the lid with more than a little trepidation, I'll admit. To my relief, but also disappointment, the coffin contained nothing but dust. At least that's what I thought at first, but when I looked closer, I discovered a golden amulet embedded in the gray ash. On the back of the amulet is an inscription that says, With Solomon's scepter, I wake. Solomon's scepter, that's a plant, right? I think it is. Okay. Also known alarmingly as Hell's Gate and sometimes Solomon's Scorn, the flowers of this plant are commonly used in witchcraft and other satanic <laughs> practices. It's fine, right? Uh, let's see here. We have some weird leaves. Do I have this one? Hmm. So many sweets. Oh, maybe this one? Dark purple flowers. What about this one? Oh, there we go. Okay, smell is alluring. I think it's this one. All right. Wasn't sure about that. Let's mark that off as solo. Solo. Mon's scepter. Okie dokie, there you go. I'm just gonna move that over there. Uh, let's see. So let's. Five miles south of the tallest but one. I'm assuming that means actually it was this one. And we need to go south. Let's see, so 899 is like the tallest one. So one, two, three, four, five think is where it's sending us. I don't see anything bigger, so let's try it hard not. Oh, okay, so no? Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to try a little bit later. I heard a shepherd got killed by some wild beast up near the Swin side stone circle. They say it slaughtered half his flock as well. People around here don't seem too bothered by it, but it's got them panicked down Foxfield Way. Kent Mir I. That's confusing. Kent Mir is there. Kent Mir I. 
Let's visit Kentmere, because why not? We're not doing anything. I descend into a pleasant valley where the village of Kentmere is situated. On my way, I pass the Brock Stone or Badger Rock, which has always been popular with local children who challenge each other to scramble up its craggy sides. I make a beeline to the village church, which is sheltered by an ancient yew tree. There are many plants to admire amongst the headstones and tombs, but sadly, nothing extraordinary for me to find today. Hmm. Kentmere Eye. I didn't really see anything. So there's Kentmere, but I don't see an eye. Which is weird. All right. Kitty! Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, ha! I got an achievement for petting the cat. Good job, me. Well, this is getting interesting. I was able to confirm that it was indeed gilded dendra that was used at this windside ritual site. That's a worrying sign. It's a plant that is used in several of the darker incantations, and it can't be a coincidence that the very same plant was used to part poison the Arda. There must be a connection between this other murder and the sisterhood. I need some mental clarity to think through it some more. All right, so let's see. You need some, whoops, maiden's sorrow. Let's see, so rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one finger and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering. Uh, let's see, and they dro have droopy flowers. I think it's this one. Okay, cool. Ah, here we go, the red abony. Um, blood has been spilled over the plant, huh? Since the plant is blue, I don't think we have that one. So this is the ma Maiden Sorrow. Okie dokie, so that one's all taken care of. All right, so we really do need to figure out, we have a couple things here, five miles south of the tallest but one, and Kentmere's eye, oh, it's tallest, let me think about that. Well, actually, hang on a second. This one's taller. I didn't even see this one, it's 902. Oh shit, okay, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, the forest here is lush and vibrant. The bird song feels enchanting like the call of sirens. Nestled in the undergrowth under the shade of a birch tree, a plant grows. Ooh, what is that? Is that the, hang on a second. You, open this up. That looks... A large blue flower with an odd protrusion. Yeah, that's this. I'm pretty sure that this is the red abony. Ab, ab, what abony? There we go. Let's see. Um, I would like to get this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's all charged up. Oh, that's not very useful. Oh my god, I want to see if we can't find something to... It works. Okay, so there you go. There's that. Um, let's see here. I'm basically just gonna toss everything out here. So yeah, we didn't get this one. I'm confused on that one. We'll have to go back outside again um, to see. Okay, so nothing on any of these. What about this? Nothing there. Um, let's go into the... Stop it, just open this up. Uh, okay, let's uh, use this. Oh, hang the great, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Give me, dip, stop with your motions. So let's see. So there's a plant down there. The great oak is apparently there. Tomb of the hunter is there. Okay, so let's go into the map. And I want to make sure we pick the right place. The Great Oak is there. And Elder... F I don't even know what, how to pronounce that. It grows there. And Tomb of the Hunter is up there. Uh, let's start by going here. Whoever wrote on my map has been very helpful. I would have never thought to come out to this desolate place in search of plant life, but a quick search yields exciting results. Okay. And that was called... Do we have any information on that, actually? 
Yes, we do. Okay, so let's mark this. This one's definitely, we have it. It's Elder Finium. Uh, any information on that that we should know anything about? Let's see, can be brewed to create an antidote to Dendra's miasma. So uh, there you go. That's, that's the first thing here. Very, very useful. We have some other things that I want to go to. So let's actually water. I'm going to get all these. Okay, there we go. Let's put this down here. So now we have a couple other places to go. Let's go to the Great Oak. A huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and wide, bigger than I could have ever imagined. Any living thing... I mean, better... Wait, I'm sorry. A huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and wide, bigger than I could ever have imagined any living thing might be. Its upper branches graze the sky. Interesting. So nothing there. Okay. I'm curious to... I wonder if there's any written information in the book. There probably is, um, to be honest. Okay, well, let's uh, try another customer, if we will. It looks like I'm going to have to make a trip to Black Comb. Verona noticed something at the Swinside site that has me pondering. A piece of slate with a symbol drawn on it in black. Can't think of anywhere else around there where you would get slate from. That and Bradley Miller keeps insisting that he saw something up at Black Comb. But then again, Bradley Miller does claim that fairies stole his wheelbarrow. If I'm going to spend a night out in the hills, I want to take some eyebright with me. Uh, wouldn't want anyone sneaking up on me in the dark. So let's see here. Eyebright. Just checking. Uh, let's see. Looks like it has some sort of thorn on it. Uh, where's my plants that I have. Um, take care not to touch its brightly colored thorns. They will do no lasting damage, but they contain a small amount of venom that will cause severe pain for several days. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have this one. I'm like 100% sure we don't have this, which is complicated. So let's see. Grows to the south in warmer clients. In, in, sorry, warmer climates. I think we need to go out before we can. Grows to the south in warmer climates. I assume it would be in this area because I think that's in the. I'm not sure where, though. Hmm. I wonder... Warmer climates. Where they call it low... Lothi? I wonder if that's a hint. There is a city down here. Maybe we'll check that out. Woo! Zoomed in. Whoops. All right, let's water some plants. Oh, let's see. I was watering. Oh, right. We have this plant, too. Okay, hang on. I think... So, looking at this again, let's try heading back there. Uh, let's see. We need blue winter to keep them at bay, which we've already done this. Uh, winter board. No, we haven't been able to do this because the winter boar is found in, um, what's the word I'm looking for? In, <laughs> hang on, I'll get there. I think it's found in the Arctic areas, which, um, like we've, we're trying to get to, right? So we need to figure out how to get there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, not this one. This one here. So we need some of the... What is it called? The Brimlock. So let's see. I need to figure out what the Brimlock is. I 
and I'm kind of wondering, um, we have this one plant that I thought might actually be it. So let's see here. If we go, okay, I need to water some plants first. Everybody water some plants, and then we're gonna go see if we can't get that, use the, I'm thinking this plant, that plant up, this plant here is Brimlock, but I'm not sure. I won't die if I go use it, will I? Okay, let's let's try this. So we need to go to not that one. Uh, Great Gable. That is this location here, and we need some Brimlock. I'm hoping it's this. Yes, it is. Okay, I push on, no longer feeling the cold, and presently re and pleasantly rewarded. Okay, so we got. That's where we get that information from. Okay. So, first things first, I think this is, okay, let's put, this is Brimlock. This took me way too long to figure out, by the way. I feel, uh, I feel a little bit dumb. Okay, so this one, though, I think is what we need to scare off the insects. So let me water some more plants. This is, um, the watering of plants is actually one of the only things that's really turning me off here. Like, I feel- I understand why you don't want to have to just be able to, like, explore the map. But also kind of feels like... Actually, I wonder if we can get more than one from each plant. Hang on. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. But I can get at least up to another will to explore. Okay. So let's go ahead and go here. And I think now... We need the blue winter, and I think that's this one. If I remember, if I like remember what it looks like. Uh, blue winter. Um, winter boar. Yeah, that looks that looks really similar. Okay, and we get a plant for this. Hey, okay. This is the only stuff that was like, we were kind of holding us back, so I kind of figured that this was probably what he was, or kind of what we needed to do in order to get the stuff. I think this is eye bright, because this is uh, in warmer clients, climates. Yes, okay. Whoo, got that one. Let's go ahead and label this one as eye bright. So we've made pretty good motions. Took me a lot to get here. Pet the cat. Forest of What is wrong with your eyes? Does it ever stop raining in Undermere? You have a reputation in town for knowing about unusual plants. I need some gray sand fire. Nobody around here seems to even know what I'm talking about, but I hope I'm in the right place now. Gray Sandfire. Sandfire has a tough outer bark, which has many useful properties. Some chew it as a form of dental hygiene. Uh, all right, so it has tendrils. Um, and gives off a smoky scent. I don't... What do you smell like? Hmm, that doesn't seem to help. It smells rotten. That's definitely not it. What about you? Okay, wood smoke. I think it's this one. Okay, cool. So we got gray sand fire there. It looks like our gray sand fire. Is, is that right? Yes. Okay, so this one should be done now. And let's see. This is the only one. We've got long meg. Uh, let's see. We've got this one. We've got Kentmere's eye. So here's Kentmere. Wait a minute. Uh, does this do anything if I like hover it? Wait a minute, there's an eyeball right there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, um, here? Let's try here. From Kent, where I followed the bearing of the eye and end up in a small forest south of Kendall. The woods are thick with briar and brambles, but amongst the tangled undergrowth, a type of flower is flourishing. Hey! Okay, so got that one. That one was kind of weird. I don't really approve of that one. Let's move this out of the way. Let's 
move all my like kind of flowers into the middle here. I feel like the flowers that I do know are kind of taking over. <laughs> We've almost got a full batch over there. Oh, we have like a lot of room over here. So we do not need to worry about having not enough plants. This one, this is the dangerous one, if y'all recall. So we're gonna keep that one kind of separate. Like how the candle is out because of the we've already spent today. Hang on, I'm gonna get I'm feeling a little bit uh anal retentive here. If I was really feeling anal retentive, I would rearrange everything by vowels. Okay, I wanna water. I wanna see. I think there's one more place up there that's like the cave of the hunter or something like that. And what I might do is... Oh, I don't need to do that. What I might do is see if I can't, like, figure out this one to just spend some time watering my plants and figuring out. Tomb of the Hunter is here. The memorial bears the name Swaif Pryor. It stirs a memory. He was one of the drawer. Theirs is a lonely life at the mercy of a dangerous addiction. They build a tolerance to the dendrinthium sap in childhood that they might benefit from its potent effects, but they will die if they stop taking it. An unusual plant grows sparsely around the memorial. Okay, I got another new plant there. So that's uh, cool. So now I just need to figure out this one. Um, okay. Let me, uh, I don't, I don't know how long I'm going to spend doing this. That's not very useful. Um, but I do want to see if I can't maybe figure this out. I have a little bit of time, so I'll just cut this part out. Wait a minute. Look, 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 you guys, look. It, like, fits. I didn't even realize. I was kind of hovering it over to see if, like, any of these pieces looked close to it. And then I realized that it could just fit right here. Okay, so I think it's this spot here. Let's find out. <laughs> Dumb. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. The gentle sound of flowing water, the sunlight through scattered trees, a reset. Oh my gosh. I was just hovering the car and I didn't even real. Oh my god. I was trying to match it up. This is, that was, okay. Moving on. New card. Lowick to Ilgil Head, Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. At first she felt free, but it wasn't long before the reality of her situation began to take its toll. She stole food when she was hungry and slept in makeshift shelters, not knowing where she was going, not caring. Eventually she made her way to Grizzledale Forest. I'm gonna run one more day and uh, it's Friday. Oh no, it's Friday. This is bad news for all of us. All right, first things first. Let's see if we can't figure out where this is. So we have Lowick, which is down here, to Il... Where is Ilgid Head? Um, man, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, let's see, if you see it, say something. Il... I'm sorry, Ilgil Head. What is that name? What is that name? Ill. Ill, 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 ill. Ah, there it is. So from here to here, and Fox Field to Crinkle Crags. So I'm guessing it's where these guys intercept. So let's see here. I think it's probably going to be... Here? Does that check out? Let's find out. Ha! The magpie sees me before I see it. I do not know how long it has been watching me, but I can tell that it is interested in my movements. A strange sensation creeps over me, and I feel an urge to leave this place, but not before collecting a plant for further study. One for sorrow. Turning to leave, I see another magpie, another plant I've never seen before. Two for joy. Woo! 
Yay, more plants. We have so many plants that we haven't identified yet in this bad one. Yeah, all right, let's put that away and um, pet the cat because I don't want to disturb it sleeping. You were, you were wise to pledge your support to the seeds of redemption. Together we are stronger. Now that Dendru has awoken, the redemption is upon us. It is a glorious time. Our deeds will be remembered for a thousand years. Those of us that have put our faith in the woken Dendru will be saved, but we must ask swiftly. We will be in touch soon. Praise the Dendru. What? Did I just join a cult? The cultist. Yes, I did. There's still somebody that I haven't met, though. Whoops. I hadn't meant to join a cult today, but, you know, what are these? Oh. Excuse me, sir. Um, hang on. Wait, no. Hang on. If I didn't even realize we could touch these buttons. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hmm. I don't know what these are. Oh wait, there's something under here too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that's just the some that's that is not they just pulled that back. That's the name of the thing. Huh. I didn't know we could touch those. I'm gonna have to play with those as we as we go. Uh oh, lady with the jade mask again. My mind is clouded. Dark. I see it and it sees me. All of me. Elder Finium is the answer. It must be. I will not forget those who help me. Okay. Um, we have that one, right? Like that's the one we went and found. Where is it? Uh <laughs> no, seriously. Um Is it over here? Elder We definitely had it, remember? I'm gonna have to put these in order. Is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so, um. Hmm. Alright. I guess we'll just keep going today. Ooh, who's this? Is this new? My mom was into horticulture. I found this among her things. Golden light. That's a plant, right? I'm not sure what long meg could mean, though. Is that another plant? Anyway, I thought you should have it just in case it's any help. I got a note here. Golden light. Start at long meg. South 3, east 2. Hi, I guess we're going. Okay, so start at long meg. Long meg is... So they return to stone. I'm wondering if this, I think this is. One, two, three, one, two. I think it's here, let's find out. The river is in its youth here, flowing swiftly through the rocks with a med, mel, med, <laughs> melodic, holy crap, gurgle. Y'all, sometimes words just do not happen. Among the tall grasses that line the river bank is a much more unusual looking flower. All right, so. Yes, I tripped over things, but we found it. So, ha ha ha. Uh, let's see, this is golden light. I'm gonna make that note. Actually, maybe we should put that in a different color. I don't know. It's fine. Let's put that away. Um, I'm still curious about this. We'll have to play with that. Help me, the amulet. I can't remove it and it's drawing the life from me. All right, so we need long something or another. Is that around your neck? Sometimes called witch's remedy, the long varicund is believed to lift curses. All right, so we have a, let's see, it's not this. Put that, put that over here. Uh, let's see, small leaves grow in pairs. I think it's gonna be this one. It's the only one that we have that's doing that. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and try. Yep, okay, cool. I can feel it working, thank you. Alright. Let's 
just go ahead and label that as long. Wait, how does it? It's got an E in there. E R E cunt. There we go. <laughs> we'll get there. All right, so that's good, I guess. So we, that's what we needed from the long Meg stuff. I'm still confused about this. I also don't know what this is. I have a f growing fear deep within me. Huh. All right, well, uh, let's see what we got. Amos Duncan. It's good to see you, my friend. I've been on the road so long, I started to wonder if you were still on the other end of the letters I've been sending. I'm back in town for a few days though, and I wanted to give you these before I forgot. I found them in the pocket of an overcoat that belonged to your uncle. I almost threw them away, but I thought the symbols on them might mean something to you. Okay, so... That answers that question. I'm going to assume that the order that they currently are in is what we need to set. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Okay. So I, cause this is, I think this is the first one and I think this is the other ones. Do they have numbers on them? No. Do they have any other information on them? Can I flip these over? No, okay. Uh, or actually, you know what? Hang on a second. Where's that piece? They are torn. Hang on, we can put them, we can put them together. Look at that, like a puzzle. Uh, oh, this piece doesn't go anywhere though. Oh, you know what? I don't think that works. That works though. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Okay, so this one, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. This goes here like this, and then this one, and then this one, and then that one. All right, so let's go ahead and I understand now, woo! Okay, let's get the upside down one. Oh, wait, that one was, wait, that one was correct? All right. Oh, hey, so we got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, we have a coin, herb, medicinal herbiology. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. So devil's night trap, trimble huff, and a note. A briar's disc, often called a smuggler's disc, is a simple device that can be used to send coded messages. The location of cached cargo, for example, the principle is cunningly straightforward, but the code is undecipherable to prying eyes. Both parties must be in possession of a disc of identical size with the same symbols etched around its edge and a map. To encode a location, you would then place the disc over some named point on the map nearby and note whichever symbol is pointing to the location. Ah, okay, so that's, I think that's this. It may be necessary to string multiple symbols together, but you can use this method to reach any other point on the map as required. Okay. So, uh, also, Robert Barrow. Wait, where was that? What is it? What the name? Black Hall Road, Kendall. Let's go to Kendall. I find the medicinal herbiology shop off Black Hall Road. I know you, says the man behind the counter, Robert Barrow, presumably. You're the owner of Strange Horticulture. Two hours later, after a lengthy and engaging discussion covering a variety of botanical subjects, we decide on a trade. It turns out Robert is a collector of unusual fungi, and I have just the thing for him. Copper something or another. All right. Uh, let's see. The red spores are in fact a type of fungus themselves and not part of the plant. Okay, so I think it's this one. And it is. Fabulous. We had three plants for that. Holy crap. That was a lot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and mark this one as Copper Caledonian. That sounds like a location in one of the, some of the games I've been playing. All right, so I think we can put all of these away. I don't think we need those anymore. We're going to put that away. We'll put that away as well. Okie dokie. Let's uh, do some more stuff here. 
I have no idea what any of this means, but it seems like something you might find interesting. I found it while clearing out the nook of the east wing. Okay, made from the crushed petals of three distinctive plants, Bilox Elixir is a potent aid to memory, allowing those who drink it to ensure that they retain important information they will never forget. Care must be taken after drinking, however, to avoid the fate of Grey Guile, who slowly lost her mind after taking Bailox and staring at a blank wall for 12 hours. I don't know what that means. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. Uh, we're gonna have to look at this one when we get into the game. A young woman alone in the world, she was taken in by the sisterhood and given a home. It was a chance for redemption, a new start. Uh oh, is this talking about Thea? Oh no. It's Saturday. It's dark outside. All right, and there's a spider in the window, by the way. Okay, next time we're going to figure out this card as well as um you know some of the other things that are going on so i will see you guys then i'm very curious about where this is going <laughs>